London is after all our home and that's where we started and where we developed our brand. So it feels only natural to show in London again. I think presentations uh, are much less stressful. Uh, they're much more economical and I think they're very more, uh, much more modern uh, because people can come and they can spend just a few seconds looking at the clothes or they can linger in, they can talk to us, they can look at the clothes, they can talk to their friends. It's a much more friendly uh, approach um, and uh, much more flexible too. We had wanted something simple, something quite clean and graphic. Uh, because for us is a is a is a start is a start of something new, and we wanted it to be very clean, so that we it's like cleansing the palate. It's like having a sorbet, you know, to clean the palate from the old taste and start something again. But obviously, the minute we uh, start doing things, they become instantly Clemens Ribeiro. Uh, in any way, you know, it's a Clemens Ribeiro never seen before, and that's quite uh, refreshing for us. So you see all the whimsy, all the really uh, original embroidery and craft, all the cashmere, all the stripes, but the stripes are quite clean and elegant. And I think there's a, there's a certain French polish, if I may say. The clothes now are manufactured in France, uh, and uh, I think they have something quite unique. We relate a lot to, uh, to, the, to a certain um, image of French bourgeoisie, bourgeoisie and a certain uh, French chic, Parisian chic, but which we, of course we want to destroy straight away and bring in a punk element and make some rough, roughen it up a little bit. And I guess that's the, the London edge that we bring to what we do.